I'm starting full-time work next week. <laughs> I am scared and excited. I thought, because I'm obviously gonna have just no idea of what full-time work's gonna be like, that I would do a video before I start work, and then I'll do another video after I've been working there a while um, of what it's actually like. So, yeah, here goes nothing. I've now been working, I think, full-time for a month, though, like, half of that was it toning down before Christmas. <laughs> And it's definitely not turned down anymore. So let's start off with the positives, hey? What am I looking forward to? Um, well, I must have been doing uni wrong because I'm actually kind of looking forward to getting my weekends back. Weekends are the best though. Oh my gosh. Um, my desk buddy comes in on the weekends and I'm really afraid of when that is me. But for now, it's not. And during semester, was going in on Saturday, even Sunday afternoons, a lot. But with full-time work, you don't. You just, uh, hopefully, just work like nine to five, five days a week. And then the weekends, you just live life. It just consumes your life. I was like, oh, it'll be nine to five. And then outside of that, I can just live my life. In market research, it's 8.30 to 5.30, but still outside of that, right? I can just live life. Nope, you can't live life in the evenings of a weeknight or you'll be wrecked the next day and hugely forget it. But hey, there's still the weekends, right? Surprise, no, because there's no time for shopping or appointments during the week anymore. So your Saturday morning is just going to appointments and doing shopping and doing things you needed to do during the week that you were just too tired to do for the rest of the week the next thing you know it's sunday night and you're like oh how is it monday again almost the money though i'm ready for that oh just like i mean i don't, like market researchers don't make that much which is going to be a problem in like five years but right now coming out of the student life <laughs> the best part of working full time i thought it'd be the money but that comes once a month so it's not because I need more than that to keep me going. No, I actually do enjoy the job. Banter in that office is so quality. Oh, no, this is the best part. I'm not the center of it. I'm keen to just leave stuff at work, you know? Like at uni, you just always have that feeling of like, I should be working on my assignment right now, just that constant guilt. Whereas I don't think I'm gonna have that. And I'm, I'm so excited for that. Uni had its down points, okay? At least now, I leave work and I'm not just thinking like, uh, oh, I should go back to work and do more work. Outside of work, doesn't matter. I haven't worked from home and I haven't gone in on the weekend and it's been great. Having said that, it's only really a matter of time seeing what everyone else does. What do I think will be the hardest part? Confidentiality, to be honest. Not because I find it hard to keep secrets. My favorite things about learning is telling everyone what I learned. Also because I love telling funny stories. And so if something funny happens at work, I just want to tell everyone. Also, I need like eight hours of sleep. So I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna be tired all the time. My least favorite part is being tired just all the time. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? That adults, they're just tired all the time. Anyway, <laughs> like, at work is just, it's, I'm just absorbing so much information. I get home and I'm tired. Oh, dress. How, how you dress is gonna be like, I can't just wear jeans and a t-shirt. I'm gonna have to like put effort into my appearance. And as for the clothing, I was, it's surprisingly casual, especially on casual Fridays. Um, yeah, it's surprisingly chill. Making lunches, like you have to think ahead and make your lunch for tomorrow. Being aware of what I put into my body, which is probably more of a consequence of the people I work with who are just embracing veganism and plant-based diets, sorry. And I, I, I just wanna sit in the lunchroom and eat my slab of meat in peace. Thought I'd like be seeing my friends move on without me. It's gonna suck that it's summer holidays and all my friends are gonna be hanging out together and catch up with them and then realize how much fun they were having together and like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. But I just don't catch up with them, so it's fine. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have to always be like, sorry guys, I can't, I have work. Sorry I can't come, I've gotta to work tomorrow. Oh, sorry I gotta leave early, I've gotta to work tomorrow. Oh, I'll come after work, just, I'm just gonna be that friend. I'm not ready to be that friend. Look, in summary, I think we all hear adults talk about how you can't have a work life and a social life and we all think we're going to be different and we're going to make it work and I'm probably making it work even less than the others. I don't know how I thought this would be different because I didn't really make it work all through uni. In summary, I'd probably say I thought I would enjoy my job less than I do, but I thought I'd enjoy life outside of the job more than I do because I didn't think I was just going to be tired. So much of the time, it takes it out of you. It just, it just do. It just do. In summary of the summary, work is more fun than I thought it would be, and I'm more tired than I thought I would be. 
I thought I was constantly tired before. <laughs> I was wrong.